Effortless athleticism and spectacular routines. These young people in Jamaica have been learning gymnastics. I like that it has no limits and you can challenge yourself to do more than what you can do. While Jamaica isn't known for its gymnastics, the country has recently seen more athletes performing on the world stage. And one individual in particular has had a significant influence on this trend. <laughs> Japanese coach Nishida Shin. In 2008, Nishida opened a gymnastics studio in Jamaica, despite the country's limited heritage in the sport. And as part of his efforts to popularize gymnastics, he launched free classes for children from underprivileged backgrounds. Daniel Williams joined Nishida's classes at the age of eight. And despite a disadvantaged background, he went on to represent Jamaica at the Artistic Gymnastics World Championships. In 2019, Nishida entrusted coaching to local staff and returned to Japan to teach children there too. Coach, Coach Walters, I challenge you. <laughs> and though he initially intended to travel back and forth, the global pandemic soon put pay to those plans. For the last two years, he's been forced to support his coaches remotely. All right, coach, let's go, and you try. See, it's kind of hard, no? <laughs> Point it, I give them a challenge, and I let them sit down and watch. With travel restrictions easing, at long last, he's able to return to Jamaica. This time on Side by Side, we follow the Japanese coach and his Jamaican colleagues working to change children's futures through gymnastics. <laughs> Jamaica is an island nation in the heart of the Caribbean Sea. The capital, Kingston, is home to 1.2 million people. Nishida Shin returns for the first time in two years to see how his gymnastics initiative is going. All right. Mr. Young! Hold on, hold on. Hold on, Jim Carter looks so... The color. Oh, yes, right. It's burning. The, the sun and the constant spray. Uh -huh. It's going on. It changed. <laughs> you know... Coach, what's up? I'm good. I'm good. I know, I know, I know you, you know. You gave us uh, the video, the little video. Yes, yes. Saying, this is uh, this is this is this is oh, oh, thank you for the video last time. At this studio, a team of 12 local coaches trained some 200 regular students. Each class begins with the same routine, as the students recite Nishida's studio philosophy. These guidelines are inspired by Nishida's own hopes for these young people. Nishida's 
将来ね何かこう体操で学んだことがその彼の人生に生きてくればいいなという気持ちを持って教えてはいますいつも。The coaches work to instill the importance of effort and persistence, a vital lesson, whatever the future may hold for these students. I like when they, I like when they give me confidence in myself. That's so I can do the skill and get it. Nishida's longest association here is with 24-year-old Daniel Williams. Williams was one of Nishida's first students when he opened his gym 15 years ago. Keep the elbows straight, straight, straight. And having retired from competition, these days he works as a coach. I mean, he's the one um, basically um, was just there every single time. I mean, he's, he watches us grow um, and he sees everything that we do. And he, he tries his best to try to you know, instill discipline, you know, be, be respectful, you know, be good to others, don't say this, don't, you know, don't act a certain way. And, and I'm grateful for that. Nishida's own background in competitive gymnastics goes back to his student days. And in 2004, after graduating from Kyoto University of Education, he came to Jamaica on a Japanese state-run volunteer program. As well as promoting gymnastics, he worked with the Jamaican Ministry of Education to develop a new manual for PE teachers. Come here, Bill. Come. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes, man. Don't bite me, you know. <laughs> and at the end of the volunteer program, he decided to stay in Jamaica. One neighborhood in particular holds many strong memories for him. この辺りの地域はジャマイカではゲットと言われているところで、ゲットっていうのはいわゆる貧困地区とかスラム街的なイメージの。Jamaica suffers from widespread financial inequality, and the poorest areas have more unemployment and more crime, a world that many young people get drawn into. ゲットの劣悪なその生活環境じゃないですけど、まあそういうところに子供たちがいっぱいいる。うんで放課後することなくて。こうどんどん悪い方向に行ってるっていうような話を聞いて、やっぱり体操でなんかできるんじゃないかなっていう風な使命感が出たっていうのが、まあそうですね教室始めることになったきっかけですかね。In 2008, Nishida used his savings to rent part of a warehouse and offer gymnastics classes. And while funding the gym through monthly fees from students. He also visited underprivileged neighborhoods to provide free classes for children there. Soccer とか陸上とかと体操ってやっぱちょっと違うんですよ。できなかったことができるっていうことがそのやってる本人にとってとっても分かりやすいスポーツだと思うんです。だいたい最初はみんな逆上がりに挑戦した時ってできないじゃないですか。でもできないしこれ絶対こんなん無理と思うんですよ最初みんなでもちゃんと段階踏んで練習するとできるんですよで一回できた時のあできたっていう経験ってねなかなかそれほど分かりやすいスポーツって体操以外にあんまりないと思うんですよね When he discovers underprivileged children with a natural aptitude for gymnastics Nishida works to develop those talents
And one such star pupil was present day coach Daniel Williams. I got Bob. Nishida invited Williams to join his classes after noticing his potential while teaching at his elementary school. And through his training with Nishida, Williams would go on to become one of Jamaica's top male gymnasts. Good one. Nice. He performed well at international tournaments. And at the age of 20, he became only the second Jamaican man ever to make it to the World Artistic Gymnastics Championships. I'm still grateful that I did participate. You know, I, I got the experience and I'm, and I'm thankful. Thanks be to God. <laughs> William's success on the world stage has also had a huge positive impact in his severely deprived neighborhood. I don't know about no else. My uncle can tell you I've grand spend when my born uncle. This was a messy place. Daniel, as a as an athlete, come here and change the place. Cause them changed it for us, you know. Cause we they are fool fool and a follow, you know. But when we see a little brother come up and a little cousin come up, come turn star, we have to break up ourselves. I got me see going. Yeah, now some of you they might try this, you might go work. And as we tell you, say we don't go on like so we're perfect. You know, you could happenings go on now and then, but as we said before, where we have come from. No. William still lives in this neighborhood with his parents, Busta and Laura. Evening, yes, Daniel. Daniel. Everybody have a dream, but very few people live to fulfill their dreams. And I didn't know I had a son in me that would take it to the world, and he make us real proud. Yeah, man, as a parents. It gives the future to the younger ones that are coming. Three years ago, a back injury forced him to retire from competition. So now he aims to pass on what Nishida taught him to a new generation. You know, the most organized instructor of the year. So, um... Mr. Nishida to me is basically like one of those role models, just like as I, I emulate my father as well. So I emulate Mr. Nishida just as well. Teach me everything that you know, brought me up as a human being, mm -hmm. you know, in the right way, I mm -hmm. should say. You know, traveling with probably my younger students them and, you know, competing, you know, being there as their coach. So that's, that's, that's where I want to head next. Daniel is in the house of my family. I'm coaching the next generation. I'm coaching the next generation. I'm coaching the next generation for 15 years. I'm coaching the next generation of Jamaica when I was in Jamaica. 子供に伝えたいことであったりとかっていうのをすごくしっかり自分のことまで喋ってくれてるのとこう聞くとね、いや本当やっててよかったなと思いますよね。オリンピック行けなかったですけど、もう彼らの成長を見てるとも本当それで
yeah, because my body just kind of forgot what he was um, doing. But undeterred, he continues building toward his goal of a first international tournament. The pandemic has had a severe impact on these gymnastics studios. Lockdown measures forced them to close for many months. And even now, class sizes are restricted. With revenues down by two thirds, owning their own gym was the only thing that enabled them to carry on teaching. Away from the gym, Nishida heads into town to check in on local friends and acquaintances and find out how they've been affected by the pandemic. Basil Nooms makes covers for their gym mats. You know that it affects us a lot, right? <laughs> With activity stepping up again, Nishida places a new order. Jamaica has no specialist gym equipment manufacturers, so Nooms is a vital partner. You remember, right? But again, this is when the school reopened. Mm -hmm. But while students are slowly returning to regular classes, there are currently no plans to reopen free classes in poorer neighborhoods. <laughs> Coming from this side. Are they opening? Oh, this. Okay. Nishida visits a community center that provides educational and other support for such areas. Aunties, <laughs> how are you? You okay? I mean, long time never see you. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you guys, are, I mean, I'm glad to hear that at least, you know, nobody's trouble. He first launched free classes here in 2016. And when infection rates fall further, he hopes to revive that partnership. Well, it, it does in a sense, as I said, instead of have the children let go on the street, up and down, they're focused on something that can be a benefit to them and their parents. I pleasure appreciate it. I say the parents come with them children, close, not from our end, but the instructor's end. We will have to close until certain time. The students still come and then practice by themselves. The children are itching to get back into action. Uh, let's go kick them up. Yes. <laughs> you can still do it. Yes. yes she can. Yeah. I'll tell them gymnastics soon come back, OK? Hopefully. Hopefully. Not hopefully, it will. <laughs> yeah, it will come again. Right. We just don't know when, but it will come again. Yes. yes, sir. Yes. <laughs> Next, can I, can Nishida visits a school friends? attended by some of his students. Morning, Mr. Wright. <laughs> I knew you know, Mr. Wright. Is that Mr. Wright? Oh, yes. <laughs> Principal Christopher Wright, himself a former PE teacher, is an old acquaintance from Nishida's volunteer days. Mr. Wright, I mean, so how are you? You good? Good to see you, man. Two years I couldn't come back to Jamaica. So how are the schools, though? Well, um, under COVID. COVID is there. With, uh, we're battling it. But um, today's the first day, and children are out, which is a good thing. Hold on, first day coming back to school? Face to face. Oh, yes. really? Since March. 2020? Correct. Okay. Um, so we, we are trying to get the gymnastics stuff back at the right. community center. Mm -hmm. so Whenever we're we ready. Ready, yeah. Yes, yes, yes. So we'll talk to you. Definitely. <laughs> Same number, right? Yes, ma'am. Yeah. All right, Mr. Wright. All right. Okay. All right. All right. Yes, it's all right. Okay. And a happy new year to you. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. But the joy of seeing okay, old friends okay. is soon shattered I mean, by some upsetting news. 
っと本当に昨日の昨日の夜に、えー、ここで体操を習ってた子供のお父さんがあの銃で撃たれたっていう話をしてたんですいやもうそのね子供さんそのなんだろうな家にいてて撃たれたっていうんですよ家にいてて撃たれたってもうトラウマもトラウマじゃないですか,だかなんかそういうことがやっぱり頻繁に起きてしまうっていう地域で体操にはまるっていうことは例えば家に帰ってなんかそういうちょっと嫌なこととか怖いことを忘れて技の練習を頑張るとかなんだろうなやっぱりすごい健康的な影響を与えられると思うので早く再開したいなと思いますね。While some former students remain committed to gymnastics, others have gone into different fields. Go ahead. All right, we're going to do that motion one more time.、Uh, let me just adjust my focus settings here. Jamin Levy is a freelance photographer. Awesome. He decided to set up on his own after working as a video editor with a local production company. It's, it's, the job really attracts me and inspires me quite a lot. I enjoy picking up the camera and going out and shooting. Having taken up gymnastics at the age of six, up to the age of 20, he studied with Nishida for around 10 years. And under Nishida's tutelage, he achieved podium finishes in international youth tournaments. The lessons he learned from those experiences have been a huge help in his subsequent activities. You know, we always keep trying. It's actually one of the headlines and、um, you know, mottos for Nishida's gymnastics. And I think that has really stuck with me that like, I need to just keep going, you know, even when things get tough. Uh, you know, just get back up and you know, try something else,、uh, keep going. And while his career as a photographer is still in its infancy, he hopes to build a reputation with creative portrayals of Jamaica's natural beauty. On a day off from teaching, Nishida and his coaches head out on a boat trip. Their destination is this uninhabited island. Once there, Nishida goes off in search of food. And an hour later. There you go. <laughs> Plenty fish. The island holds a lot of memories for Nishida, who'd often come here to ponder major life choices. What's really going on in Jamaica? And today, he has an important message for his coaches. I'm seeing, you know, we gone back to zero, and I'm seeing coming Jim coming back little by little. I was like, oh, yes. <laughs> you guys are so reliable. I was like, I was like you guys saved me. Saved my 15 years. No more excitement.、Mm. No more the Jamaican kids who can chase their dream of、yeah. gymnastics. No more those good p l a c e to be.、So、that's what I really felt at one point. And then, you know,、mm-hmm. I started to see Jim coming back. I was really glad and happy. And I felt I, I was so, I, I don't know, I was saved in、yeah. a way、mm-hmm. by you guys. Yes, did my best. He wanted to thank the team for keeping classes running through his pandemic enforced absence. I mean, when we see that the gym is starting from zero, it felt like it was our responsibility. 
And you know, we couldn't just make that we couldn't just make that legacy just go down the drain like that. So it's just the, the love and the you know the drive, the drive to do it and the love for the gymnastic itself. So. Many people only talk about the negative with COVID, but they don't realize positive. that there are many positives to COVID. And I mean, COVID, even though it made our staff a bit less, what I think it did also was made us a bit closer, stronger. But you see, when we're smaller, every, there's more time. People spend the time knowing each other, you know, learning more about your ways, you know, what you don't like, what you dislike, so I know how to deal with you. And I mean, through all of that, I think we got really, really, really close. Like, I mean, really close. The gymnastics initiative Nishida started himself 15 years ago is now supported by a whole team of Jamaican coaches. Being there, and I must say I'm very appreciative of that. I mean, you took over, you took charge, you know, you would ask me for one. <laughs> These local colleagues are the most dependable deputies Nishida could ask for. And they are also providing new leadership to carry things forward even further. まあ、I can't be here physically to do anything to get more kids. But I mean, you are the one, you know, who related to our people, related to our kids and parents, for our mother gym to do better to us too. Yes. Tell me all. I don't, I mean, I'm confident that you guys will do. All right. So, so we're ready for the class. Hi. And Nishida and his team continue their efforts to build a new shared future for their community.